I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to apply the airbrush makeup on your eyes. I'm starting off by applying a nice shimmer beige color called Champagne all over the lid. And then I'm going to just um, smoke out a little bit in the corner with a midnight blue. If you'd like, you can use a shield that looks like this. I'm going to do it freehand because I like it to look a little more diffused and a little bit more softer. So I'm just going to apply that in the outer V. Now with the color called Light Smoke, I'm going to apply that in the crease. I'm just going to pull the V out a little bit more and I'm just going to bring it in, creating a soft crease. Now highlighting the brow bone with a color called Vanilla and I'm bringing that all the way into the bridge of my nose this also helps to soften the brown if you apply too much now I'm applying jet black eyeliner so when you're applying the eyeliner you want to get pretty close and you want to lower the dial on your airbrush machine so the air pressure is not as strong. To get a more precise line, you can also use the eyeshadow shield to create a very straight line. Otherwise, you'll be creating a more softer, smokier eye look, like I'm creating here. This does get you to tear, so I am tearing a lot. You gotta just stop for a second and wipe away your tears. The closer you get, or the more you pull the gun, you actually get a darker color. Or you can just layer it to create more depth. I'm pulling up the lid here to get very close to the lash line. Now I'm using a gold to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. I'm also going to apply a little bit of that color up and above on the lid area, just a slight shimmer. I just like to add intensity in the inner waterline, on your waterline. Um, you can do it with the airbrush, but you're not going to get as a dark color as with a pencil liner. So I just use Feline for MAC to line my waterline. And I'm just cleaning up underneath just a little bit, and also my brows because usually you do the brows after, but I wanted my brows to be ready. Now this is the final look with the mascara. I went ahead and put some mascara on. This is what it looks like. 